Ken Griffey Jr. was obviously an extremely talented and popular player in the 90s, consistently one of the top hitters during this decade, and thus I'm sure numerous people have taken a look at his stats. But when you look at Jr.'s career numbers during his prime in the 90s, there's one season that may stick out. That season was in 1995, which was really subpar for the standards of Ken Griffey Jr., but that 1995 season was special for Griffey and Mariners fans. So prior to the 1995 MLB season, Ken Griffey Jr. seemed to be everywhere in the baseball world as he was in Nike commercials at a popular Super Nintendo game, made an appearance in the movie Little Big League, and broke the record for the most amount of all-star votes in 1994. And speaking about 1994, Griffey Jr., he was on pace to have a chance to break Roger Maris's single-season home run record of 61 before a strike prematurely ended the season in August. After play would resume in 1995, the arrow was obviously pointing up for the 25-year-old center fielder, but instead, early on, it looked like that 1995 was not going to be Griffey's year. So about a month into the 1995 season, Griffey, a consistent 300 hitter early in his career, was batting 263 through 27 games, but had 7 home runs which would be on pace for about a 42 home run season. But anyways, during that 27th game of the season, Griffey made a highlight worthy catch but it resulted in Junior breaking his left wrist. Thus Griffey, he would miss 73 games but was still voted in as an all-star starter despite being injured. As for the Mariners, Seattle, they still had talented hitters in an outstanding season from Randy Johnson, but the M's would find themselves as much as 13 games behind the division leader, the California Angels, in early August, which would be a huge deficit to overcome if Seattle was going to the postseason. But on August 15, Seattle, they were going to add Ken Griffey Jr. back into their lineup. According to an ESPN article, Griffey, he needed a metal plate and seven screws to repair his wrist. More about this later on, but anyways, Griffey, he'd be in the starting lineup every day now. And after the day of Junior's return, the division-leading Angels would go 4-17, and that allowed Seattle to be 5.5 games behind California, but time was running out. However, California, they would subsequently go on a 9-game losing streak, and in short, Seattle California would play a 1-game playoff to determine who would go to the postseason and who would go home. What transpired? Seattle. They won that game and thus would be making their first postseason appearance in their franchise's history. Now before I go any further, these are Griffey's stats for the 1995 season, and here are Griffey's stats if he would have played 162 games. For the final month and a half of the season, which was when Griffey returned, Junior hit 10 home runs with 27 RBIs and hit 255. So the 1995 regular season was not a typical King Griffey Jr. season, but then for the postseason, Things would be much different as this will be the postseason that Ken Griffey Jr. fans will have a hard time forgetting. The 1995 playoffs, the first MLB postseason with the wild card meaning 4 teams from each league and 8 teams total would be in the postseason. The New York Yankees, they would take on the Seattle Mariners in the divisional round and what wound up happening was one of the best 5 series ever. As for Ken Griffey Jr., number 24, he wound up hitting 5 home runs in the 5 game series. Now. I want to go back to my childhood as I had a friend. He was an annoying Ken Griffey Jr. fan as he wouldn't be quiet about how great Griffey was. And yes, he was obviously tremendous, but my friend had to keep reminding me that Griffey tied Reggie Jackson's record for most home runs in a postseason series with five. Furthermore, he also had to continuously mention that Jackson did in six games while Griffey only did in five games. But moreover, my friend kept talking that Griffey did it with screws in his wrist. But to be fair, he did make a great point about how difficult it can be to have screws in your wrist and how you have to roll your wrists over after contact is made with the baseball. So as for mentioned, my friend, he made a great point. But anyways, it wasn't necessarily those five home runs that was the most significant part of Ken Griffey Jr.'s play against the Yankees in the ALDS. In the decisive Game 5, with Seattle batting down 5-4 in the bottom of the 11th inning, Joey Cora hit a bunt single, which was followed by Ken Griffey Jr. hitting a single. Runners down 1st and 3rd with Edgar Martinez up to hit, against my favorite pitcher of all time Jack McDowell, and Martinez, he hit a double. This allowed Cora to score, and Griffey was able to sneak in and score the winning run and send the M's to the ALCS. I remember Ken Griffey Jr. scoring that winning run with so much excitement from the thunderous Seattle crowd. That is what I remember so vividly. But there was something about that winning run scored by Griffey that I had no idea about at the time. Later on, I saw in documentaries and with some reading 
that the double Edgar Martinez hit that scored Griffey to propel the Mariners to the ALCS has been credited with saving baseball in Seattle. To simply put it, there were relocation rumors. The kingdom, home of the Mariners, was falling apart. Residents previously voted against a sales tax increase of one percentage point to fund a new stadium. But then shortly after Ken Griffey Jr. scored that winning run, the Washington State Legislature held a special session and as a result, an alternative funding package was approved to allow the building of a new ballpark which became Safeco Field. During Ken Griffey Jr.'s prime, his numbers were quite impressive. But in the middle, there was that subpar season in 1995. But despite those atypical regular season numbers in 95, Ken Griffey Jr. was able to have quite the postseason performance in the ALDS with a wrist that had a metal plate and seven screws as that performance was so important in keeping baseball in Seattle. Real quick, I just want to thank all those who have supported 90 Sports Nostalgia. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and check out the links below for Patreon. Thank you so much. Ken Griffey Jr. and his 1995 season with the Seattle Mariners.